Yo, hello, my friends! We are back playing some more Oblivion. Um, doing Mages Guild quests. We need to go speak with Tarmina. Last time we were here, we um, got wrecked in an alien ruin. And when I say wrecked, I mean absolutely destroyed. You seem quite intriguing. Thanks, friend. Uh, look, if you're here for information, I'm afraid you'll have to find it on your own. I'm swamped right now, up to my ears in necromancy. Not practicing it, do you mind even, you. Do you even Wouldn't have want ears? anyone to think I was involved in that sort of thing. I simply meant researching it. Um. Oh, of, <laughs> of course, course you okay. were. No doubt the totally council not is suspicious. trying to get you to bother me further. I ran Karanya out of here just a short while ago and told them to leave me alone. I keep telling them I can't produce results if I'm not given any time. I'm not used to working under conditions like this. Hmm. Now that is a bit more specific. Finally, something I can respond to. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, there's one obscure text that references these gems. I believe it's still around here someplace, unless Falkar never returned it. The name of the book is Necromancer's Moon. I'm unclear on the origins of the text, but it does involve these gems you're interested in. I'm afraid you'll have to find it yourself. I'm so out of sorts with all these requests. I've lost track of most everything. It's very distressing. Very distressing. I believe you'll find it quite helpful. Once you've had a chance to read it, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. Okay, yeah, let's well. be on our way. Thank you, Tarmina. What? Oh, never mind. It's right in the corner here. How long is this? Oh, it's not that long. I'll read it. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters of the worm, despair not at the trials we now face, for our time comes swiftly. The god of worms watches our, over our order and will deliver us from these troubled times on the day of reckoning. Until then, perform his works in secret, serve his needs, and look to the skies for his signs. The revenant, the necromancer's moon, watches over us all. His form ascended to godhood, has taken its rightful place in the sky, and hides the enemy RK from us so that we may serve him. Watch for the signs. When the heavenly light descends from above, hasten to his altars and make your offering, so that he may bless you with but a taste of his true power. Grand soul gems offered to him will be darkened and can be used to trap the souls of the unwitting. A feat even the great Nagasta would marvel at. Stay faithful to the order of the Black Worm, and in time your loyalty will be rewarded. Soon he will return to set the world right in due time, and those who would stand in his way will suffer eternally at his hands, just as those who stood opposed before. Until that day, you must believe and be patient. Hide in your caves, in your ruined forts, in your secret lairs. Raise your minions, summon your servants, cast your spells. Answer the call of the order. When you are needed, watch and listen. Oh, I have to take it. I found the book Necromancer's Moon and should take it to Raminus Polis after consulting with Tarmina. A pleasure to speak with you. A most interesting text, is it not? We are fortunate that at least one necromancer took the time to record the information. I am unfamiliar with a shade of the revenant described within the book, but I was never one to dabble in the more, shall we say, amoral arts. You may take that with you for now, if you wish. The council may have use for it. Please, ask them to return it quickly, as I may need it again. Okay. Be seeing you. Let's go talk to Ramnus. Look at this fire, man. That is some good-looking fire. Me, 
Oh, Ramanus. Has Tarmina been of use in gathering information about the necromancers? Yes, sir. Got info on the black... black soldiers? Excellent work. I believe this will be of use to the Council. I shall make sure they're made aware of its contents. Hmm. I've never heard of this Shade of the Revenant. Some sort of celestial phenomenon. If that's correct, then Bothiel would most likely know something about it, as the caretaker of the orrery. She should be on university grounds. A most fascinating contraption. Bothiel is one of the few who understands how it worked and kept it running. Let's go talk to Bothiel. Take care. Where's the or? Isn't the or? We, haven't we been here? Wait, she's right here. Okay. Hello there. Is there something I can do for you? Um, yes, ma'am. Revenant, you say? And it represents something in the heavens? It sounds familiar. Let me think. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Falcar was here some time ago asking about just such a thing. Said it was for research. He had a large sheaf of notes with him about it. I'm afraid I didn't have any more advice for him than I do for you. With the Ori in such a state of disrepair, I have no point of reference. Falcar did leave this behind. I think it fell from his notes as he left. I didn't pay it much attention, but perhaps it will be of use to you. Hastily scrawled note. Farewell. Let's talk to Raymond. Well met. So, Falcar expressed interest in this revenant as well, and left this note behind, did he? Hm. Perhaps we should look into it for more clues. This lists several locations. The first is the Dark Fissure, which I recognize. It's a cave in the mountains, south of Chadenhall. If there is indeed an altar there, as the note suggests, I believe this cave is directly related to the contents of the book. Go to the Dark Fissure the next time this shade occurs. Search for any connection to what we've learned and report back. Please, be careful. Anything you find is of no use to us if you do not survive. I believe we are dealing with powerful forces here. Do not put yourself in harm's way if it can be avoided. Will do, sir. I will get my precious cargo back to you. By precious cargo, I mean this booty. Not really. Um, okay. Let's try. Oh my god, where do I have to? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, there we go. Dark fissure. Shadowmere, onwards! Man, Shadowmere is the best. Does everything. Fights, traverses mountains. Like, what else do you need from a horse? Carries you around all day? Look at this. No other horse can do this. Keep jumping, baby. I believe in you, Shadow Mirror. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Hello? Uh... Guys, what the hell? What is with this? Necromancers. Goddamn necromancers. Oh. I don't think he sees me. Hello? You will not stop us. The Order of the Black Worm will consume all in its path. Oh, okay. I thought you were evil. 
Oh my god, I literally can't see. What's the matter? Come on, boy. It's so dark! Why is this so dark? I need to turn the brightness up. Jesus. Come on, boy. Oh, come on. Did we kill him? Yes. Okay. Oh, no. Dude, I've been getting demolished by these guys. Oh, we killed her. Okay. Jesus Christ. Why am I so bad against these guys? What the heck? Where's my... Why aren't torches hotkeyed anymore? What the hell? They were hotkeyed to eight. No, they're not. Like, I am getting just demolished by sorcerers. I n don't think it was this bad before. Also, what is my sword's damage? 10. It's got 12 health or whatever. I don't even know what you call that. There we go. Okay. Wait, why do I have to... Don't I have to be in here? I swear, if I don't have to be in here... Heavenly Lights mentioned in the Necromancer's books. Wait, I was... I was not supposed to come in here? <sighs> I think I'm supposed to wait for the lights out here. Now what time would that happen? I gotta guess like midnight, right? That seems reasonable. When's midnight? Three, four, eh, about five hours. Four hours should do it, I think. Midnight seems right to me. Oh, waiting heals you. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Um... What the hell do I do? Do I just wait or something? I don't know. I feel like I've screwed this up somehow. Come on. Was I not supposed to go in there? I feel like I wasn't supposed to go in there. Crap.
Hmm. Maybe I screwed up and I need to... the other guy I killed right here. Note, soul gems, gold. Oh, here we go, okay. I think I screwed it up, but it still works. Okay, I have found evidence of necromancers creating black soul gems at the Dark Fisher Cave, as well as other altars throughout Cyrodiil. I need to get this information in Raymond Polis at the Arcane University. So, there's actually a glitch. I'm not sure if it's ever been patched, but there's a way to create unlimited black soul gems. And then you use that to somehow... I think it's skill... It's like... I don't know. It's a way to level up a ton. And you can end up getting your skills to like 5 million. And it's funny because you can actually... Um, you know, if you get your... I think it's... What is it? Acrobatics? and athletics to the highest they can go like moving if you move even an inch you'll you'll basically just go flying it's pretty funny to watch if you can google it you should it, like you'll be moving hit hit a hit an angle wrong on a rock or something and just fly I feel like there's enemies nearby. Oh wow, there isn't. Okay, mud crabs don't count, I guess. Damn, I look good. I'm still in Umbra's armor, I'm pretty sure. Or Umbra-like armor. Um, it's like mid- let's just wait. Uh, six hours should do it. That'll do it. She should be in here now. Yep. There we go. Hello, conjurer. Have you been? Oh to no, the dark not her. Yet? Um, Raminus. We need to know. Yes, I have. So you saw them. The altars must be infused with some kind of power to change over the soul gems. I shall pass the news on to the Council. Most troubling indeed to know that these are not merely myths. I also fear their numbers may be... greater than we believed. You have again performed admirably. You have my thanks, and that of the Council as well. <laughs>